I'm Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. One sump plug. What are we doing today as promised? A full service for this Triumph Tiger 1050. Oil, free spark plugs, iridium, genuine oil filter, genuine air filter. Um, I could have gone can in pipe across and I could have gone for you know the Canon one or for the oil filter but to be honest with you it's running fine as it is the only thing I've upgraded is probably the Iridium plugs but I did get the old um, sump washer which actually uh, I'm going to use the original one it's really good condition I'm just going to clean it all up now I've got the uh, oil draining out while we speak which is there and also some may notice no battery charger. You know, I've said this from the PEDS. Doesn't hurt giving your battery a good old charge. Yes, I did a 70 uh, mile journey on it, but it doesn't hurt. I also checked the tyres. They were both on 20 pounds. Um, 35 front, 38 back is happy. Often we ask about tyre pressure. I mean, end of the day, if you don't know, put 30 in it. It's a happy medium, you know. Um, it's not going to be um, not, not too little, um, but it's never going to be too much either and often you can put more in them. And with luggage and another pinion rider, it might be 40, 45, I don't know. But for me, at present minute, I've put 35 and 38 in, and it, it, it's gonna run really well with that. Much better than 20 pounds pressure. Oil's draining out now, and I've mentioned this kit in many of my videos. Um, any auto jumble or any car place will do these. I got this every day, a really, really good deal. It just makes life so much easier. On this one, we're right underneath, have a quick look. We are just there, so easy to get to on this motorbike. The oil is in the condition I thought it was. The other day I did top it up <laughs> and the uh, antifreeze, but I didn't know how long the kit was going to take to get here, and it got here in a couple of days, so we're doing it now. Oil I expect to be that colour. This is the little stuff I was talking about, you know, save the environment. It's in a, a plastic bag in a box, yeah, too much plastic, but better than the big ones you normally get, and this will chuck away once it's clean and out. So, oil draining out nicely. We're gonna put a very nice Triumph filter. <laughs> so I don't normally do. <laughs> Crap, even more than me, but hey, that came in the kit. Battery's good, tires are holding, water drain out as well. What's it my last video? Nice and clean, still lovely and clean, because it's, you know, the day after, and there you go. And what do you think about people letting me know whether they'd like to showcase their bike on my channel? I'm going to mention it again in case you, some of you didn't see it. So if you've got a nice bike, anything, to be honest with you, you fancy popping down and seeing me, have a cup of tea with me, and then we can get the good and the bad and the ugly, as it were, about your bike that you're riding. I mean, you don't think you can get better than that. Someone owning a bike for a set amount of time, not just a week, and giving their real riding experience and opinion on that bike. Maybe slightly biased, because some people buy the bikes and love them no matter what. But like Ducati, I had someone today mention on my channel about Ducatis, you know, um, they're rubbish. But it's like the Alfa Romeo, they're beautiful rubbish, you know. Ducatis, I've had many of them. I've had no problems with one, I've had problems with the other. But they do have their failings, you know, and all the bikes have. I'm pretty sure everyone's got an experience of a motorbike that they didn't like, hasn't got on with, etc. Anyway, I'm going to get the filter off, come back in a second. So once you marry up the old one, you might have to give it a little tap on. I've just put the sump bolt back in, just in case it's a mess. Right, and there we go, that's loose. Put your bucket back underneath because not the carpet being ruined. Also, the wife will kill me, but it's my carpet. Yeah, there we go. And just let the rest of that drain out. And there we go. Old for new. How simple can that be? Don't drip on the floor. <laughs> right, I'll clean this up. This last one wasn't done by Triumph, it's Hiflo. So now I know. That's whoever last did the service on this. What's the main deal? Anyway, good old bit. The old oil just put a little tiny smidgen around. Now, a guy contacted me and said, I always pre-fill mine. I don't. 
I'll start it up and then adjust it and get it right where I want to be. But anyway, it is entirely up to you how you do it. I always pre-fill my diesel filters, but I do not pre-fill these. It's just a messy bloody job. I think if you dropped it again, you know, you're gonna be quite pissed off, in ya. So I do not pre-fill. Do not over tighten it, to be honest with you, by hand is good enough, because they're sealing. And there you go, job done. Happy days, wipe up any excess oil anywhere. And to be honest with you, there wasn't really. Give that a little tighten, a nice wipe up. And that is just so simple. You know, honestly, I know the plugs and the air, fi air filters won't be probably a problem, but it's just so satisfying to know you've done it yourself. Well, I think so anyway. Right, let's get all the fairings and, and tank up here off and let's get them two bits done. So as I refill the bike with uh, the dog, with this um, little pipe here, it literally is just Allen key, Allen key, Allen key, Allen key, Allen key, I'm going to take them ones off. I don't know if they need to come forward yet to get the tank up. Once I get the tank up, there should be an air filter. And I don't know whether it's going to be an air box and everything else up and get to the plugs. I've got to wait till I get under there. Now, a handy tip. Don't do a service on a full tank. Okay? It's just bloody heavy to move around. This has got less than a gallon in it, you know? Um, I said it's 30 odd miles, less than a gallon. Always do a service with little petrol in there. It's easy to get the tank up and get it out of the way rather than five gallons, okay? So that's my top tip. Right, I'm going to fill this up. Um, being the um, filters underneath, that should fill up, so I shouldn't have to check it too many times once I started, but I always do. And I want to get this off and then show you how I'm doing. So we're ringing in my bloody ears because that poxy alone didn't like it. Even though it's in service mode, when you start disconnecting the tank, it has a little hissy fit. Going off my ear, they're still ringing. Anyway, let's look what we took off so far. Two under the panels that go under there. Two little other panels that go here. That enables you to get the indicators and the tiger bit off. That enables you to get the tank off. Now, under the tank, two air breathing pipes. They literally sit as they are. These two connectors, they only go on one way, so don't worry about getting them mixed up. And then this is the main one. Now, don't forget there's two little like, levers in here, one there and one there, like, like pinchers. You've got to pinch them in, but on top of them is this tiny little bit here. And all that does is just fold down. Okay, don't snap it. It just folds down. Little screwdriver, pick it out and it folds down. And then you've got to be able to pinch them and that comes off. No fuel really goes anywhere. So, air box. Under the air box will simply be the three plugs. So, about 20 minutes work. First time doing it. Put all the ones there. All the black ones go all in there. All the silver ones obviously, obviously go in here. So that's what I've done there. So, nice and easy. Remember, take pictures if you don't know what you're doing. Well, you know what you're doing. Still got a battery on charge though. Bloody ringing. Oh, it's right there as well. Like, Oh, anyway, this is just simple. You know, everything here, um, literally just plug and play. It's got separate plugs that you can't mix them up. They're often the right shape and size as well anyway. So, so what's this? This is just Phillips around here. This will come off under here will be obviously the air filter and another set of probably screws that then come up again and then we get to the plugs. Let's get you there. It's good though, I can't help myself. While you've got all this off, give it a clean. It don't hurt none. You know, no one's gonna see it. I know they're not gonna see it, but it's just what I enjoy. Don't need to take the clock ones off, it just slots in. So when you take the two back ones off and you've got this one here, pick it up, or once you've got the panels off, and then get under there. Don't try and take it out, it won't work. So literally, tank still on, lift it up, about that much you'll get up, clip that brown bit down, pinch that comes off, a little petrol will come out, don't worry. Plug, plug, lift up, they pop off, job done. In reverse, getting it back on now. If you worry, take a picture underneath it, you'll know where they'll go. Now I'm happy to announce 10 mil socket, eight mil socket, Phillips screwdriver, and a set of ordinary Allen keys. 
and you are in there, literally, you're just there. Pair of pliers for these little clip bits. The air box is a few of these now. They nicely slot back on afterwards. And that's just a little breather pipe, you know, and a couple here and a couple there. Um, one at the front, one this side, a little one that side. You know, everything just goes nicely back in. It's a little bit of a funny bit. Um, yeah, okay. I would have said something was nesting in here. <laughs> Got a rude awakening, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. Anyone, anyone suggestions write a postcode? What, there's a nut there and some little bits and bobs. Um, that was just there. How old? Anyway, nice carburetors. Sorry, injection. And there's the three plug sockets. Then pop them out and we'll get the plugs and have a look. As for the air filter, I think you can see there's the old one and there's the new one. So, I mean, this has been in some time. It was ready for a service. It really was. So let's just pop this plug up. Um, it's often better to uh, just disconnect that bit and pull them out. Now I do one at a time. I always have done. I prefer doing one at a time because you're not going to get them mixed up. Well, you're not going to get them mixed up anyway, you know. But I just like doing them one at a time. Um, I think it's an old thing from cars, you know, from the old days as well. You know, when you'd uh, they weren't so good in the old days. HTLs were all the same sort of length, so you literally could pull all four bit off, all four caps off change the plugs and then look and go oh crap you know not remember what way they were you're like oh so let's have a little looky I'm just gonna get hold of it there we go mm. come on up you come oh I need the other one with a little rubbit in there oh, that's got a bit in there yes. Why is it not? Ta-da! Why was I not doing that? Oh, I've got no idea. Anyway! It was Iridium. Same number plug. And the burn, hmm, not too bad. I can't think it's that same plug, but it is. Is that the same number? So, yeah, it, it was time for a change. It's not burned too bad. Remember, Iridium plugs last double the length. So, you know, this could have been 4,000, 6,000 miles. It might even last longer. I've just noticed that it's got no cap on it, so that's good. This cap can come off then, can't it? And there we go. Job will be done. Hmm. Right. This has to come off. I've done that before. Double check the plug. This one had the little tiny electroid funny bit on the top. It don't do it. So always check always check the plug you come out with. Always check the plug you took out and put make sure that is it is on. <gasps> So once you've got the plug out, always check the top bit. Because if you put it in and it's got it on, you're not going to get on there and it will run all funny and lumpy. So I'm just going to replicate this now three times, put them all back in, put the box back in, all the connectors, nice new air filter, back on, back on, back on, and then we should have a nice running bike in a few minutes. Now all in, I've serviced many, many, many bikes. Um, yeah, a lot of bikes. And I can say that, to be honest with you, that filter and the plugs weren't that bad. It was ready for a service, oil most certainly. But you know what? I've had a lot, lot worse. So I used to be a bit disappointed when I'd find a bike that, you know, I'd go to do service on it and there's plugs and everything else is really clean. I'd be like, oh, you know, wasting my time. But it's better 
finding that than finding a bike that looks absolutely dead where it really desperately needed a service and you know it's, it's, it's bad so I'm actually quite happy that um, it wasn't too bad at all so job done <laughs> job done let's get on with putting all this back on here make it look yummy again with the tank else back on nice and tight remember everything went the extra pipes for the tank and everything else they're all ready to go so all we've got to do now is put the 1000 little screws back on here that's what it feels like sometimes there's so many bloody screws I often wonder why they put so many on here like that I think they don't need that many surely you know but well you don't want to miss them off when you're dealing with the little peds, you know, there's so, so, so many missing nuts and bolts and, you know, I hate cable bloody ties, you know, where people don't put them back and I can't remember the last speed fort I ever found that had the actual gasket that should go round the variator system on the engine part. I just can't remember the last time I ever seen one on there. Anyway, leave it with me. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, there's nothing weird to say that I haven't already said with remembering to put the pipes back on there, the air pipes back on there and everything else. All the plugs are nicely in there, connected. Make sure you shove the HT lead and click, click, click as far as you can, okay? And don't forget to connect them. Because at the end of the day, if you get this wrong and don't start, you've got to go back all over something that you, know, that you might have missed. So double check everything back in a second. The tank back on. You have two air pipes, and they are to the left-hand side, closest to you. The two plugs, the light brown one goes next to the main one, the fuel comes, and there's a black one. But, they all just fit nicely on, you haven't got to worry too much what goes where. But the tank is back on, nice and simple, and now literally it's all the panels just that I took off earlier. This little lot, indicators, side panels and back panels just to go on. But I am gonna just wipe up the little bits just because I want to. I'll check the water. Now, I had to top it up a bit, but I've undone the cap there and lovely blue antifreeze came out. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted today just to leave that today. Uh, I can't say how long it's been in there, but normally it's like a discoloration and it really isn't. So, battery's still on charge. Starting to look back a little bit like a bike again, I guess, isn't it? You know, oil is perfect now, and that I'll put in one of my one litre ones before, and we'll just get rid of the consumables that we don't need. It's always quite satisfying when you get everything back on, and it's nice and secure as it should be. And then give it a little wipe over, I know I detailed it all. Um, but you know, there's some little lines there now that I should be cleaning. <laughs> but it is all back on. My tray is empty. What I need to do now is put the seat back on. Just grow all the bolts just one last time, you know, just a little tiny. I'm obviously don't want to over tighten anything because you'll snap the plastic or do something silly. But you do want to make sure that they're all on because at the end of the day, these motorbikes vibrate a lot. I'm not saying chipples vibrate any more than Kawasaki's and and fours and so on, but they do vibrate, so top tip, just go round everything again. Do that quickly while you're on camera. Yep, 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 that's nice. A um, little bit of panel movement there actually, so I'm just gonna undo that one. I wanna make sure they're all where they should be, you know? Because at the end of the day, you've had them all off. Last, I said my last a bit, not many tools really for full service. Brakes will be on another. Brakes will be on another video, um, and then I, I may I may decide to do the water. Um, to be honest, with you, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I have checked it. There is a uh, little bit you can do, but I looked for the paperwork, and it looks like it had a major service. And I mean, it doesn't hurt leaving it a little bit longer. I can do it on my next service. Bloody alarm going off. Oh, see? Bloody thing. Shut up. Right, there we go. If it looks to be exactly where it should be, let's just give it a quick beep. So I bloody hate them.
Fuel pump. Fingers crossed. Now the fuel gauge says it's completely full, that's incorrect, obviously we had it off and back on again. So next time I feel it that will work itself out and it will tell me that I need fuel desperately. <laughs> but everything is connected as it should be. I've got to go over it a little bit now where I've, you know, had the panels off and lined them up again. Um, I'm happy with all them lines, they are exactly where they're supposed to be. Job done, thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you so much for liking. This was the last one. But obviously I need to do the brakes, don't I? A bloody alarm. Ugh. But she's full of oil, I'll test that now. Top up if needed. Get rid of the waste oil properly. Beep, 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 beep. I'm going for a cut of tea. You lot, take care of yourselves, like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. Ah. Why are you in every video? Why? Why did you poke your head through? Why do I get the smelly end? Hmm? Why? Why? Oh, you got your hands. Mum will moan at me. If you're black, you're okay. No one sees. No one sees! Good girl. Come on in. Let's get a cup of tea.